Hi guys, it's Tan. Um, I'm going to, this is the second in the series of videos on how to set up GitHub, use GitHub um, for your book club repositories. Um, in the first video, we talked about the web editor and how to use it for small changes. This next video summarizes um, how to set it up on your local machine and how to make pull requests and manage your So today I'm going to be presenting what I would consider my personal way to do it and the way I learned and think is the best way to do. Um, to set up your um, GitHub repository, there are other ways. Uh, our studio GUIs for it. Um, but for me, I learned how to do Git um, terminal. I'm going to show you the way I would do it. Um, so we're going to start with, we're going to look at this R4DS book club template. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a fork for this um, book club template and clone that to our computer. So that's the same structure that's outlined in chapter 30. Um, so for more information, this chapter, um, if you're pretty comfortable with Git and just kind of want to refresh on the exact structure that we um, So this is the R4DS book club repository. We're going to create a copy that we have full permissions to so that we can put changes to it. Um, and then we're going to download it onto our computer, um, which is called cloning. Then what we want to do after is push our changes to the local, to our personal repository that we have control over, and make a pull request into the R4DS book repository. We're going to do both, both directions here. So we're going to go from R4DS into our fork, down to our computer, back up to the origin, um, and up to the upstream. Okay, um, and we are going to take the convenience feature here. Um, if you're keen on exactly why and hows, feel free to come back to this page, happygit.com. Um, in the meantime, I am going to use the RStudio uh, console and uh, RStudio terminal windows to go through and show you how to do this. So what I want to do is set up a book club folder in this thing. So I'm going to run the use this command. This is actually in the R console. So I am using R code in the console here. Git code would go in the terminal um, or any other non-R. This terminal, this is the console. So I'm going to set up r4ds-bookclub template. Uh, okay. Slash club dash template. Um, I want it to go into the GitHub tan repository. So this is going to be relative to the path current work directory, in which case this will be here. Home directory. So I'm going to add GitHub and tan. You can pick whatever, wherever you want it to live. Or you can set your working directory first and then use period, putting it in the same, same working directory that you look for. I'm going to use the slash and I generally avoid manipulating my work if possible. Um, and the most crucial part of this um, for today's purposes is going to be setting this part to fork equals true. It's one of the crucial parts, say that. Only crucial part, but it's we're going to use this to set up the forking structure. I'm going to run that now. And slash book club template exists. Demonstration. I'm going to delete this. This again. Okay, so what it's doing is it's creating a copy, a folder in GitHub Tan. It's forking the R4DS book club template repository, cloning, which is downloading the repository files into the folder. There's an R, there's an R project inside the book club template, and it's adding an upstream remote. We're going to ignore the upstream part for now. Um, generally, go back, fall back to the web editor for the pull request part. That's generally the most. So inside of book club template, um, we're gonna click on this R project to open it up. It should actually have automatically opened, but you know, sometimes can be weird. So we're going to do that for now. Cool. And what we're actually going to do is 
copy some files into the guides here. Um, and I have a R document. Happy Git book clubs. I'm going to move the RMD and Markdown doc. Move them into GitHub and book club template, and we're going to put that into the guides. Go through, move this, that. Go. Back to a working directory into the guides for. I'm actually going to rename the guides here as well. I think it actually does. Underscore. Okay, so dot guides is hidden from page down structure. Underscore guides. And we're just going to have a look at the file that I'm working with here. This is the reference file that I want uh, you guys to go back to. Questions. So we've done this part right here, which is create from GitHub. I've made a few changes. So what we're going to do is do the rest of the stuff that's in terminal. Um, so what I'm going to do is git checkout main. Already on main. That's great. Um, do git pull upstream. Okay, cool. We're going to run git status now, just have a look at where we're at. You can see we've deleted some of the dot guides, added a new underscore guides. What we're going to do now is check out a branch. So ignore all the changes that are there. Most One of the, the well, I call it critically important as well, um, is to check out a new branch. What this does is you make no changes to your main branch because it creates merge conflict. Okay, so what we're going to do is do git checkout. B makes a branch. We're going to name it, call it uh, happy git. I'm going to add stuff to this um, branch. So I'm going to do git. Add resist the urge to press period here. This would automatically add all of the changes in book club template. It's good, but it's also, you know, un does unexpected things. So what I'm going to do is explicitly add the changes we made to dot guy underscore guy. Press enter. And just we're going to just have a quick peek at git status again, just to see what's changed. Renamed all of these files from dot guys to underscore guides. Added two new files: happy git book club markdown, which is format git expects, and rmd, which is slightly prettier formatted. And this, um, so we're going to commit it. Um, so git commit. I like the shortcut dash m here, and just adding a message. So I'm going to add a message. Rename guides and add the git. Documents push. So <clears throat> as you can see here, we're going to do git push. We're going to set the new upstream because the origin doesn't have a new have this new happy git branch. We're going to set in the origin branch called happy git fingers which push. And that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our book club template. This is the main repository. You won't find the change we just made there, but instead you'll find it on the fork. So I'm going to go to the fork here. Um, got a new change in Happy Git, so I'm going to compare and pull requests. You can't find this button here. You can actually make the change pull request and pull request. In case you've left the chain a little bit. So what we can do is compare across forks. So we're going to take it from back in 
back in R4DS, so I'm going to go back to this pull request. Use the new pull request. What this will do is let us copy happy git branch into R4DS of dash template main. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, you could have gotten a shortcut by clicking the button that it prompted you to do earlier. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull request. It is renaming guides and adding happy get documents. Used for the demo of happy get setup. It's pull request. Cool. So what you will be able to, you will not be able to merge this pull request. What this, what will actually happen is you're going to someone to review it and merge it for you. Um, so I'm one of the people who will do that. I know John Harmon is another person. Uh, some other people, depending on the repository you're looking at. Um, so we're going to go into. So what I would do is look at the files changed. Quickly review what has changed. So I will look at things like name stuff okay that's cool putting stuff inside this guides folder essentially what i'm looking for here is that the changes are where they should be and if there's no changes that are added to the top level just thoughts very clean i may suggest changes in which case i will say something that lines of please move this or please remove or have you considered this? You would go back to your R Studio console, this one, and make the change. Um, and you would just git commit again here, push the change to your happy git branch. You don't need that upstream part if you're here. Just push upstream for you. Um, and that will automatically add changes to a change here. Mean. Space this out just for fun. Check on the status by typing git status here. Modify the RMD file. Um, we're going to git add uh, guides again. Add all the changes in that underscore guides folder. Git commit patch typo. Git push. Again, that's going to push straight to the happy git branch which you want. Go back to this. Be able to see that we've got a second commit, which is called patch typo, 14 seconds ago. And this has that extra line of white space. So when I'm reviewing it, I'll know that you made that change and we can merge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and merge that. Clear. Cool. So now what you can do to keep your branch up, your, your personal copy correctly, is check out your main branch. Check out main. Notice that this file disappears because we don't actually have this file. Um, in our working directory because we haven't updated it yet. But what we can do is git pull upstream slash main. So when you pull git pull upstream main into your main branch, then be up to date with both your local and your branch, and it will now have changes we guides changes. Good. Yep. And from there, that's that will let you set up a new 
pull request, you'll make another change to it. Go on from again, that was git status or sorry, git pull upstream main that will pull the upstream main branch into your main. And from there, you would get check out a new branch by typing dash b and branch two, and then you would continue that process again and again and again. Basically, you're checking out a branch, making changes to it, pushing that to your main origin, and then making a pull request, and then circling it back. I'm making hand motions when I realize I should be making mouse motions. So you're going to pull, what we just did was pull the upstream into your into your local machine, and then you're pushing that new branch up to the origin, and then making a pull request back. Structure right here. That's this structure here. You're going to pull from the upstream branch into your local machine, push that branch that you made from your local up to the origin, and then pulling the pulling request from that branch into the upstream. Um, so you just get a nice little happy circle. Okay, so that's it for um, this video. Happy to answer any questions. I'm on Slack, on Twitter. I think the, my handle is in the bottom bottom of this page or bottom of this video, um, or you know, however else, jump to me, and I'm happy to answer any questions, and go from there.